partners are too many partners. I would say that as long as you're safe, it shouldn't really matter, but if you are, you know, if you're being unsafe, then you might want to limit how many people you're doing it with. But I have to ask, what if it's like they're having sex with one person every day for a year? Do you that's think that's too much? That's no, no, that's okay. Wait a minute. You don't think so that's you mean much? like, wait a minute, you mean so 365 yes, people? Yes, 365 what? people in 365 days. What? You don't think, I th I'm, that's what I'm saying, I think that's too many. So what do you guys think about no, that? I don't think that's, that's too that's many. Absolutely I not. Hope no, the people that do it, yes, uh, that is realistic. I don't feel like that's that math. is realistic, no, but. No, it's not math. It is that's math. Madness. Numbers are infinity, why my partners can't be infinity? <laughs> oh, that's way too much, what the hell? A different person every day? A different person every day. This is a no judgment zone. I mean, people, yeah. no judgment. Well, or maybe you dip, you you do the same person once or twice, and who knows, but. Well, no I love, no much. love, my thing. So I mean, so if it's 365 people, partners in one year, if you're being safe, then it's fine, you do you. I agree. Yeah, I agree too, but I think it's too much. I feel that if you do have a lot of partners, it could make it hard for you to maintain a relationship, only because you're, it's become a routine now where you've just come accustomed to just having a sexual experience where you're not really trying to get to know the other ind individual. So it makes sense for you to not be able to, you know, maintain a relationship. Anybody else? Yeah, that's called fucking. Or? That's fucking. There, there are such things we're, we're as not, sex addicts. We're not making love. It can be a sexual addiction. Yeah. Right. I'm not, it's we're like not a drug addict getting its fix. His I, fix yeah. every day. Listen, I, I know it sounds cliche, but there, there really is levels, right? There, there really is levels, and I think intercourse has levels. There's fucking, there's making love, and there's having sex, right? So you don't make love the same way you, have, you fuck someone. Like you, 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 you can make love and fuck the same person, but no one in here has ever fucked someone and made love to a different person that was the same exact. Like it, it, that's just what it is. So if you are in your fucking stage, which a lot of us are, and it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're in your fucking stage, that's what you do. Yeah. I, I disagree. Yeah. I feel I like... I okay. feel like, fine, granted, you have a lot of partners. Does that hinder you from like finding the one and being in love? No, I think you know what's for you, regardless of what, what you did yesterday. If you met someone, you guys have a genuine connection. The body knows what it wants, the heart knows what it wants, the mind wants what it wants. No, I don't think that um, it hinders anything. I don't, no, no, I really don't. I, I, have to I don't think it stops. Do you think that age plays a part in it? Age, like um, when you're young, you're having I fun. Do. I do. Yeah, with I age, do. you become more seasoned, more mature. Yeah. yeah. I know people who were mm -hmm. out there. They slept with a lot of multiple people all throughout their lives, known as big hoes or whatever. At some point in time, you might get tired of that same scenery. When you've done something multiple times, sometimes you might want to make a change and do something different. I That's know true. people who have been super hoes their whole entire life, and now they're stay-at-home people. Celebrating yeah, holidays, <laughs> Valentine's Day. They got tired of being hoes. Look at Hugh Hefner. He settled down with, what was his name, Kimberly? And he had all the pussy. He was the pussy master. <laughs> yes. So hello, even he After settled. some time, you've been there, done that. Do you think messing around will lead to settling down? Yes, because you get tired of it. After a while, you can do it for as many years as you want. But after a while, you're going to say, you know what? I've already seen every type of personality, every type of person, every type of different body, it's like, it's time to just be with one person and enjoy that, build that special relationship with somebody. That works with the majority, but there are some, maybe 5% that do continue to be that way. There are some people that don't even believe in it. Me? There are some people that don't ever want to settle down as well. For me, I'm 45, and honestly, I'm not even ready to settle down. Like, I feel like, you know, I've traveled the world, and there are so many fine men everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Why limit myself to just one? And then I feel like if I commit and marry one, then what if I meet the one that I'm really supposed to be with? Maybe I'm a commitment foe, but whatever. Mm -hmm. it is what it is. I just feel right like you're one. not settling. Maybe you haven't yeah. read the right run to put you, I haven't, to make you yeah. wanna, yeah. to make you wanna do that. I don't I even know if he exists, cause maybe my standards are too high, but. but. <laughs> he probably out here, he just ain't uh, met you yet. <laughs> well, all that fucking, do you think you can actually, um, this your blessing of the one that's for you, in your opinion? You know, cause you know, we all have sex. Do you feel like, you know, Freddie, like for you, you know, say you're doing all this fucking, do you feel like, damn, like, the one got away? It's like a distraction? 
Yeah, because I don't know if that's the one. Usually they go back to the, they usually, it's usually a connection or some type of chemistry. It'll lead you back to that person no, no, when it's but, the right time. No, but meaning like, no, but all no, the fucking, no. do you feel it's a distraction? Do you feel like all the fucking you doing is a distraction? You know, because some people say, I don't want to fuck too much because I might get distracted and miss the one. Or some people say, you know what, I'm going to keep fucking. If the one going to come, it's going to come. So for you, Freddie, whoever, but like, what, what, what do you think about that? You will get distracted because, all right, so for example, you're fucking with somebody, right? You're talking a lot and whatever, you smash. The next day, I'm not thinking about that person no more, but I don't know how great she was. I don't know anything about her. I just was like, all right, I use the next person. So if you continue to fuck, 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 next day, next day, next day, then you did miss the person. You feel that you'll find love once you're at a place where you want to be? What I think happens is we, it's so easy because there's no rules, so everyone jumps in and says, Hey, look, this is why you should be with me. Yeah. Without reaching their peak of who they are. So let's take the word fucking, right? Mm -hmm. But when I say fucking, I want you to think of working. You would never say, yo, why don't you stop working so much so you can find the one for you? No one would ever say that, right? You would say, no, you got to keep working, working, working. Nah. To present. I would never, me personally, it's I would balance. never say. It got to be would, a balance. Th but what's the balance? What's because the balance? if you work too much, if you do anything too much, it's overkill. Too much of anything is overkill. Yeah, but what you're yeah. doing is you're presenting the best you. Okay. Wait, wait, all wait, right. Wait, 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 oh, I like that. But with all that fucking around, like that. that you're fucking around. I, that's, at least he's honest. <laughs> at least he's honest. But I do believe monogamy does exist. I do believe, I feel like I the whole being promis promiscuous, you play around. It's like a filibuster. You do that, you live your life, you explore, and then you reach a point for whatever it is for you. You're like, you know what? I want to settle down or, damn, this person caught my attention and you just stop having the fun and you just become monogamous. So monogamy do exist. It just depends on you as an individual. Like you said, not everyone subscribes to the same channel. Not everyone wants to get married, not everyone wants kids. Right. Yeah. So right. do what works for you. And also the chef, wherever you are, JR, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Chef JR. Yeah.